Right, so this little thing is what the beacon will fit into. Everything on and where we want it and taped up and wired on and cable tied down. Right, fertilizer's here. Jump on this. It really needs a washer man too, but. Right, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Just putting some old juice in the uh, tractor there. Needs a bit of a top up. Let there be light. Let there be light. Yep, second time's a charm. So everyone has been telling me for a long time I need a second beacon on this tractor. And uh, we made maximum use of a very wet day yesterday and started putting the second one on. Um, it's a much more involved job than I thought. Um, first of all, I had to make a bracket. So I made up this bracket. Craig welded on the holder for the, uh, it should be dry now, holder for the beacon. Um, the reason I made one is because John Deere want 96 pound for a genuine bracket. It's just two bits of steel welded together. Then I had to take the cab roof off or the roof lining off, um, which is held in by a load of screws they also hold the lights on, that's why the lights are dangling down. Um, I was hoping to find a cable sat in the tray, but it wasn't there. I read online that there was always a cable there, but there wasn't. So we've had to run one, which is this white cable here at the minute, um, and splice that into the beacon on that side. And then we've got some finishing touches to do. Go up at the bracket on now, it's painted. Um, got a wire up. This piece, there's the rubber gasket to go back on the bracket as well. Some screws, um, and then we'll be getting there. But I'm hoping she'll look proper with two beacons on. Um, but as I say, much more involved job than we thought. But anyway, me and John have got to tag some cabs a minute, and then we'll get back to this job. So uh, let's go see some cows. <laughs> He is not happy. Not a good idea, Ken. Is it depository? Yes. Someone's ringing me as well. Oh, you're vibrating. This is one of the twins that was born. Sadly, the other one died the first night. But, um, this guy's getting stronger on his legs because his legs weren't too good. So you can now get up and get on mother and suck. We did have to put her in the crush a couple of times and take him to her to feed, but he seems to be there now. Just getting acquainted. Hereford will do well to push that big cow out of the way, won't you? Yeah. Because you can't get underneath her. Yes. The other one's just like, I don't want anything to do with this. Right, we are now up on top of the tractor. Finished tagging calves for today. Got the roof propped open with a bit of wood. As I say, there's two screws in every light that holds the roof lining down, as well as two along the side and two thumping great bolts in the top. And uh, what we've had to do, if I go across here, is this plug here, which is the beacon um, light, we have spliced into it using some special little connectors, which I don't know what they're called. I'll try and find some to show you. Uh, we've laid this two core cable all the way along and down and out the bottom of the uh, roof tray down there. So that's now running down the outside. We've got the bracket undone here for the step um, handrail because the uh, beacon bracket needs to go in underneath and we'll screw that back on. But what I want to do first is just wire it up how it is to the beacon and make sure it works. We know we've got power working absolutely fine to that cable since we spliced it in. But I just want to put a beacon on it, make sure a second beacon works before I wire it all in properly and uh, attach it to the tractor. I've also got a load of fertilizer coming in about 45 minutes. So I'll see what I can get done here in a minute um, before the fert comes. Right, so I've got myself a second beacon here. Um, I probably end up buying two new ones because this one doesn't actually match the other one. And also if the camera picks it up, there's a big crack down there. So this is really loose. 
so that needs replacing. Right, so this little thing is what the beacon will fit into. I'm going to stick that into the bottom of said beacon here. So you've got the little connectors on the bottom. And then I'm going to turn the light on and touch, I think it's the brown wire that's live on here. Hopefully, this will spin and flash. Hey! Look at that, boys! Don't want to let them touch each other. Turn off the old light for a minute. John, it works. That's good news. I'm over the moon. So I know that works now. Um, although I've already forgotten what way around the wires go. So now I've got to get the bracket on there, tidy it all up. And put the roof back on. Right, we've now got the mirror, uh, the bracket, and also the handle, the side rail, all bolted back to the pillar. Um, and I've fully committed myself because I've cut the wire. I just need to strip that back and do some wiring. Um, these are the little connectors that we use to splice into the wire. Craig actually found them. He knows more about them than I do. But basically there's two holes on one side for cables to go in. But on the other side there's a butt end. So you put your existing cable that was running into the top side, you clip that in. And you put your new cable you want to splice in in the bottom. And then basically you get a set of pliers and uh, clamp down on that as hard as you can. That splices down into the wires. And then you fold that tab over and snap them on and he stays together. And that way you splice into a cable without having to actually physically cut it and put spades on the thing. So it keeps it very neat. So what I've got to do now is put this cable up through the bracket. So it goes up through and this is in the top and then we wire it in where we want it. This will screw in to the top of here. So that's threaded, that screws in the top and then the beacon sits on top of there and it's all a good job. Right, I've got my two spades on there now which will sit on these um, bits when we want to wire it up properly. I'm just going to test it one more time so I know which one's alive and where it's got to go and then we'll wire it in properly. Right, so brown is live, so that goes on the bottom of the beacon to this leg here that's got the little coating behind it, which makes sense, I suppose, for it to be protected. Like I said earlier, this has got a big crack in it uh, and the uh, bit of plastic doesn't sit on top of there very tight, so um, I'll get a new one of those, but let's wire this thing in. We are working. Now obviously they're different beacons. So that one looks a lot better. But uh, I'll just buy a couple new ones that are the same and then at least they'll be the same. But it's working. Oh, you be careful dog. That wasn't a very good idea. Let's turn them off. And start putting the, uh, start putting the roof back together. Right, so that's all wired in. So beacon will now sit on top of that hopefully work. Right, we've now got everything on and where we want it and taped up and wired on and cable tied down. We'll start putting all these uh, all these brackets back on there. Right, fertilizer's here. Jump on this. It really needs a washer man too, but let's jump in and unload it.
All right, so I'm just going along now and putting all these lights back on. The brackets that go up in the roof, they also hold the uh, liner to the black frame here. And once all that's done, I think we're done. That's all taped up and zip tied and nice. I ordered two new beacons that just flop on the um, extensions here. We put the Starfire dome back on and then we'll be there, I think. That one there's a bit wobbly, which is a bit annoying. I don't know whether I've over tightened it. In too far or not, but um, yeah, but one to do there, one to do there. Then we're done. Right, I found an LED beacon. So what I'll do is I'll buy another LED one the same, and then we'll have LED beacons on the top, and we'll also have LED beacons in the grill. I'll just turn those on a minute. That'll look the business. Yes, I am well happy with that. We will turn them off. I've got to feed some sheep. Um, beacons off. Turn the key. Take the key. I've been wanting to put these beacons on or do it for a while. It was a much more involved job than I thought. Um, of course, it involved taking all the roof lining off and everything. Oh, I forgot that those ones don't turn off when I uh, turn the engine off. And even when we got the roof off, we thought the cable would be there, but it wasn't. So we had to put a cable in ourselves. but it's now there and it's right and it's working. So I'm happy. It was a very well spent wet day. Um, I gotta go feed some sheep and I'll show you the fertilizer that turned up earlier on. Right, sheep all fed. You would have seen time-lapse of this being unloaded earlier. I thought I'd just show you what it is. So this is 34 and a half percent nitrogen, nitram, CF made. Probably some of the last stuff they've made. I think they've stopped making it now, um, which has been a bone of contention. But um, we've also got here some 22, 3, 14, 7. So that is um, for silage ground. I think that is very similar to the stuff over here, which is multi cut sulfur 23, 4, 13, 7. In fact, it might be the same. Uh, it's not quite the same. The P and the K is slightly different. but. Um, but that's an origin version, that's what we could get. Bruce done very well and waited and waited and waited uh, buying this nitram. Um, because it's been so expensive. I think he managed to buy that for under £500 a tonne, which um, is still an obscene amount of money. But it has dropped back an awful lot just as of late. So, um, yeah, we've got a fair pile now to get us through this season. We've also got a fair bit of P&K uh, around the farm. And so, and there's also some keys, right? Some sulfur if we need it. Yeah, that should see us through the uh, the first season. One other thing that has happened in the last couple of days is uh, this little handler's turned up from Mason Kings. It's a Kramer, uh, a KT144. So it's here as a demo. We didn't ask to demo it, but it was going to somewhere, or it had been coming back from somewhere that's between us and Mason's or something. So they said they'd drop it in and let's have a go with it. Um, we can't use it at the minute. There's something wrong with the boom. There's a sensor gone or something. Um, so that needs replacing. They need to get a part to do that. So it's sort of just sat here at the minute. But when it's up and going, we'll have a go with it. But yeah, thank you very much for watching today's video. Um, I hope you like the little mods we're doing to the tractor. Um, I think we're finally there now. What I want to get done with it. Um, the only thing I really want now is a proper front box. I want like a front toolbox it's weatherproof you can seal it lock it and um but that's not it's not an, uh, something i need that's just something i want but um yeah thanks for watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up loads of uh, links in the description for all my other socials and for merch um where i get my camera again all that sort of stuff and uh yeah see you on another video very soon cheerio